Hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome to my Thursday edition here. Uh, very, very early compared to my normal timing. I figured I'd just jump on this morning, bang off some tasks, get this dealt with, because uh, I've been up, which is unusual for me, because usually I'm still kind of sort of sleeping. <laughs> All right, so what's happening is this for the for the remainder of this month into July uh, we're having some parking issues at home so I'm actually getting up in the morning and driving the spouse to work and then come home chill a bit and then I go off to my work later morning so I'm a little tired a little fuzzy here uh, but I figured eh, let's get this video over and get going here <laughs> so here we are oh oh now here's the yawn <sighs> oh my. Alright. Let's get going here. So I, I am looking at attempting to do a Father's Day card. Plus I have a couple birthday cards I gotta prep for somebody. So I might as well do it all on the live here. Alright. So the dates to keep in mind. Uh, currently right now. Until June 30th, and of course, if supplies last, but stuff is getting sold out, is two promotions. Oh, oh, excuse me. I'm ready for a nap, apparently. Shoot. Uh, there's the Kits Collection BOGO deal, which is buy one, get the second one half price. Uh, the Kits Collection being, they're just like the Paper Pumpkin Kits, but they're actually good in a way. Because, you know, Paper Pumpkin, for example, you don't know what you're kind of sort of getting. You get, like, a preview teaser thing, and then you're kind of left to, hey, do you want the kit? Or, or, <gasps> wow. Okay. This is going to make a very interesting video because I'm already sleepy. <laughs> so, the paper, so as I was saying, Paper Pumpkin Kit's more of a surprise versus the kit's collection. You know what you're getting. The information's right on the website, the pictures and everything. They're pretty cool. Uh, I haven't really cracked one open yet myself, but eventually I will. I usually end up giving them out. <laughs> so, the deal is buy one and get the second kit half price. And there's still a good selection on the website if you're looking for one. Which is really cool. Wow, this is going to make a really interesting video. <laughs> All right, and then the next promotion is the current mini catalog, January to June. There's a bunch of items retiring from that catalog. And so some of those items are up to 50% off if they're still available. Honestly, I haven't looked at the list, but there's still probably some goodies. However, not sure how well the stock is going to hold up to the end of the month. <sighs> Yay for sleepy. All right. June 28th <laughs> is my free social crafting on Zoom at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. It's just simply a, hey, just come hang out on Zoom. Do some crafting, do some socializing, and that's about it. Bring any craft you want to bring, and that's really it. So it's a nice little fun thing that I do once a month. For June, I have what I'm calling is a Stampin' Club. So any orders in June over $50 are entered to a draw. I've got one person so far. I would love to get more of you into this. So you have to make a purchase of over $50 subtotal to be eligible. And there'll be a little prize for a winner at the end of the month. Wow, I keep yawning. <laughs> uh, July 1st, is the new mini catalog from July to December, as well as celebration starts. Celebration being buy some items. As long as you get $60 in purchases, you get a free item and accumulates from there, which is actually really cool. It's a good time. I, th I believe celebration is going for two months. So if you're kind of borderline wanting to make a purchase right now but you're not sure you you need to wait a little while longer even though there's some good promotions but that's where i'm already giving you a heads up that there's even a july promotion which is celebration sorry i keep yawning <laughs> okay this is what happens when i try to do a video in the morning wow uh yeah celebration 
<laughs> All right, let, let me get myself figured out here. So celebration, spend 60, get a free item and it accumulates from there up. There's also some items where if you spend 120, you get a free item. So there, there's a good, there's some good selection in this time around. I did have a peek at it already. July 3rd, I'm hosting a little bingo game on my group on Facebook. It's a freebie event. Uh, just pick five numbers between 1 to 75. Let me know and I'll put you into the game. Uh, there'll be a little prize I'm handing out and we'll go from there. So just something I'm just trying to do a little interactiveness and there'll be a live video. Uh, I saw this idea done from a friend of mine, Donna from Pampered Chef, and I'm like, I love this idea. So I decided to kind of incorporate into my own to try it out and see what happens. Uh, July 10th is the next deadline for the new Paper Pumpkin Kit, Sending Good Thoughts. So if you were registering for the pick of the crop, it is now over as of the last J June 10th. Uh, if you did subscribe and you had some billing issues, you're, you're able to fix your billing and have it, it'll be resubmitted for June 20th. And yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing that kit, the, the pick of the crop. Mine's in transit somewhere. I was hoping to see it today, but my luck isn't that good. So it should be coming when it comes. But the new one, Sending Good Thoughts, what I can say is... Uh, it's a pretty. I didn't get that. <laughs> my watch is now chirping me. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is like one of my worst videos ever. <laughs> All right. So sending good thoughts. Uh, if you're an active subscriber to Paper Pumpkin for that, what's cool is there's a little survey to fill out, which is a teaser about sending good thoughts with some questions about some colors and things. And if you need help on the questions, please give me a shout because I can help you out. <sighs> and the arrangement is if you do the survey and you're an active subscriber, you may be selected for a prepaid code for that kit, which is, or for a kit. I'm not sure the exact wording, but the Paper Pumpkin's starting to offer some promotions where enter draws or surveys or something to try to get people more interested in Paper Pumpkin. Personally, for me, I love Paper Pumpkin. I've been a subscriber for <laughs> almost three years, and I, I think it's a great kit, even though it's a bit of a surprise each month. But that's part of the fun of being able to receive a box that has some projects in it and they're a total surprise and they're pretty cool. Alrighty, and then to try to wrap up my list here, um, I am looking at doing some sort of Christmas event or video or something in July. I'm just not sure what my plan is because I'm kind of doing things day at a time right now because of my sleep changes. As you can see, I'm very... As you can hear, anyway. <sighs> Very tired. Which isn't really good, but... Oh, well. So, there will be a Christmas something. I just have yet to piece together what that's going to be. And just to remind, every Thursday, I do try to come on here and do a video. Usually in the evening, although today I decided the morning, which may not be the best of ideas. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, at some point today, I'll be doing a video over on my page, Color the Kitty. Uh, so the first one I always do is playing with papers and colors dash SU over on my Facebook group. And then Color the Kitty page sometime later today. And then what I'm going to start doing now for a little while is I'm going to take those two videos and put over to YouTube. And just to kind of try a different bit of content changes. And it frees me up a little bit because I'm finding by doing three separate videos every Thursday, I'm kind of scattered and, and trying to catch up and it's becoming a later night for me. So changing some processes for a little while and to see what happens. All right. So paper pumpkin promo, like I say, oh yeah, so July paper pumpkin subscribers can earn, can enter to win a free one month paper pumpkin subscription code by filling out a survey. If you need more information, please let me know. And here's a little teaser for the sending good thoughts. 
some sort of nautical boat theme, which iron ironic is a bit of a theme today. It seems to be my interests. <laughs> hosting. Uh, benefit of hosting. I'm just going to mention one benefit, and I'm just trying to pick one. It, it could be online or in person. Uh, in person, generally, if we're more local, would be actually beneficial, uh, which could be a lot of fun. Uh, in person, I could bring some crafts, kind of show off some items, and see what happens if there's any interest, and have some catalogs, and take some orders, of course. And just the other thing to note, and I say this like I think every week, is if the orders total $200 to start, that's 10% rewards, and everything goes up from there. As well as, I'll have to look into it for July and August for celebration. I think there's another way, there's, there's a little more information to add to it. But I will clarify when it comes to July for celebration host rewards. <sighs> oh my. This is quite a video today. Okay. Uh, joining. The one talking point I'll say about joining today is being access to private events, which I don't have exactly listed on here. So, for example, as me as a demonstrator, uh, I have access to corporate-only events, and there's one actually happening this Saturday that I have subscribed for, like I have registered for, and I even purchased... Uh, the suite that it's for because it's doing a crafting session to show off some new items I think they're doing this like once a year or something and I I have it here I think it's part of the new catalog coming out <sighs> so I can't really show anything yet but it's a session online this weekend where I, and, and the advantage of this one is I can always catch the replay for like a month after kind of thing. So there's a bit of time in case I can't make it this weekend. And it's a great way of corporate putting together something to help demonstrators like me who still trying to find my way. Inspire some ideas on how I can better myself so when I come back to here to do my lives and videos and parties and such. I've got some new techniques to show. So that's the advantage of being a demonstrator is access to demonstrator only events to learn more skills and also resources and training and such. So that's, I would say, is the benefit. All right, here's my messy desk. <sighs> oh my, this is quite a day. All right, so we got some things happening here. Uh, and even my little, I could tell I'm still very tired. Even the lighting's bugging me. <laughs> okay, note to self, don't do this in the morning. All right, well, I'm going to start moving some stuff around. And I keep yawning. Yawn. <sighs> Feel free to grab a coffee. I should grab a coffee, actually. I don't really do coffee, but I'm thinking of doing some matcha soon. So what's happening is I've got a... Two birthday cards someone wants. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. My watch is really going to be a pest today. All right. I've got two birthday cards. I got to give to somebody. As in, they're going to kind of, sort of, make a deal with me. So, and then, Iran, the ir irony is, I also have to give birthday cards to the same persons. Same two people. So, I figure I might as well get these four done at once. And we'll go from there. So, what's happened is, most of these are blank inside. I want to put a birthday inside as well as finish the backs on most of these because I haven't done that and of course my watch is being a pest all right so let's keep yawning <laughs> literally keep yawning and then I'm gonna do the backs. so let's pull out my colored kitty I have some ink on the table here. I've got hair on the table too, apparently. All right. Wakey, wakey. So I'm just gonna do one of these one at a time. And I'm gonna open it up so that way I don't have some accidental issues happening. 
All right, so I've just grabbed some basic gray ink because I have not dug for any new ink through my stash. So I'm just gonna stamp, well, ink this and then stamp it. All right, and we'll come back to you in a bit because we're gonna also do the angel policy. So that way, if I choose to sell these, I very well could. This is a cute card that my sponsor did over at um, Scrap Fest in Kitchener. But yeah. Hello, thanks for watching. I'm having quite a scattered morning. <laughs> Just getting some of these cards ready for birthday. This one was actually a card class that I did. Uh, a little while ago for my cute sp actually two of these for my cute spring card class all right so those are done for now I'm just going to clean my stamp and then we're going to come back in with the angel policy so i'm going to grab a clear block oh yeah so something about the kids collection is this is the paper pumpkin clear block which is a little thicker stampin up has actually had even thicker ones but Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you always get a new one in the beginning, and then you gotta kind of keep it and reuse it. Now with the kids collection, they give you a smaller one, which is actually useful to have more than one kicking around. Alright, so I'm just grabbing some little stamps here. <sighs> oh my goodness. This is gonna be quite a day for me. Oh my. And I still have to go to work. <laughs> and I was kind of hoping I could bang off all my videos today, but I think that isn't going to happen so easily. I'm thinking... Color the kitty is going to get done tonight. Ooh. So I'm putting created by on all these, which that one really got smudged, but that's okay. And then the other one I'm going to put on is the Stampin' Up! name. That way I'm sourcing where all this beautifully come from. Where, yeah, there is some Stampin' Up! used on that one, even though this was a bit of a mashup. Which is what I tend to do a lot. Is combined. Ah, close enough. All right, next one. Ooh. Yeah, I just decided to use the gray. Ooh. All right, and then the last one. Oh, that, that was already done. Duh. Okay, this. I like. I say, I'm really scattered today. Oh. Then I gotta do happy birthday. Alright, so let those dry for a moment or two. Just gonna clean that stamp. Then I'm gonna prep the happy birthday stamp. So this is just some grid paper that I got kicking around for use of if I got a stamp off or anything. Okay, so speaking of celebration, I forget which celebration this is for, but this is one of the stamp sets that you can get as a host for celebration. Um, I forget how exactly I got it. I forget which one it was, but... <sighs> oh my. I am going to try to make it through the day. So the one I want to use is the Happy Birthday. And I have used this one before. So this is a really neat stamp set. So... What you just saw a few minutes ago was photopolymers. These are red clings. They still work just as awesome. Uh, but these ones, as you can see, I've barely used them. I tend to not use a lot of my materials. I'm trying to kick myself out of the habit to go ahead and use more stuff. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to pull these, pull that one out for the first time. And there's instructions on here on how to prep it, but I'm just going to give you the quick version. Alright, so we got that. 
So next is on here, find where is my picture. It is there. Happy birthday. So then what I gotta do is on this, there's the actual stamp on the back, peel that piece of paper off, but leave the spongy on there because it is very needed. I think I almost broke it, but that's okay. And then on here, it's this sticker split into two. Carefully peel the white part without taking the lettering because this will become a label. And yes, it helps to have nails. All right, I guess my desk was still a mess. And then carefully line that up where that sits on that paper give it some firm pressure and then carefully peel it all up including that label which is now adhered to the stamp and this serves as a sticky that can be reused hopefully and then when i'm done it goes into the packaging so there is a bit of a lesson in red cling stamp sets on how to use them for the first time. Uh, seasoning's not so bad, but I'm still going to do it anyway. But the advantage of putting that label on it is, I tried to put it as perfect as possible, is that way I can actually see, because otherwise it's red. I can't see through it. Oh, that really seasoned it well. <laughs> so there we go. Alright, so let's do a happy birthday on the inside. And I find actually the red clings. First, I didn't like them. Then I really grown to them. That smudged a little, but that's okay. And then let's keep going here. Let's do this one. Yeah, I find the red clings. You're easy to smudge them. So it's a bit of a challenge working with them. And we got the ladybug. Oh, I really mucked that one up good. Fudge. Yee. Damn. I really mucked that one up. All right, I'll roll with it. That is what it is. Okay, so I just gotta clean that. Yeah, I'm used to the photopolymers. And then when I'm done, carefully, it, this sticks really well. So carefully pull it to keep the label with it and then just put back in the box. Like so, there we go. And we're good for the next round. Okay, so since that was quite some time that's gone by and I still haven't got around to the Father's Day concept here all right so let's get moving here everybody uh, let's gonna put that away okay oh yeah it's too bad I got that smudged but that's okay all right so I'm just gonna stick those aside hopefully all right so let's get to Father's Day. Father's Day, Father's Day. Then lastly, I've got some labels to put on there for my name and all that. All right, so let me just grab a piece of paper. Uh, I'm back and forth on how I want to do this. I'm just going to fold it in half. This is just half a sheet of eight and a half, 11. Cut in half. All right, so, and of course, typical me, I put everything far away. Uh, the stamp set I want to use is this one. Now, in the nature of time, because it's occurred to me, this is taking a lot longer than I intended because I'm so sleepy. Ooh, trying to think what I want. Again, red clings. I have not used these guys before. <sighs> oh my. Okay, I'm just doing a quick think here. I might go 
picturesque. You know how I like I do the stamping in the ink in the paper only without getting into decorative paper. I'm thinking of just doing that today as a way of still being able to create a project even if you're kind of missing a whole bunch of materials. Um, I'm just thinking if that's what I want to do. <sighs> oh my. Hi Jocelyn. Forgive me. I'm like so sleepy. <laughs> I usually don't come on in the morning. I decided to do it today and it occurred to me when I started my video, I'm like, I am falling asleep here. <laughs> I decided to do an impromptu Father's Day card uh, using these stamps and I haven't, I haven't even planned how I want to do this. So that's kind of how my style is. So I'm just going to pull these out. I think I'm just going to take a picture with stamps and ink on the white card base here. Uh... I like the lighthouse. So these are like the red cling stamps and it's the first time I'm actually using this set apparently. I might have the dies for these but I have to go dig and find out and I was not going to do that this morning. Ooh. So I, I definitely want the lighthouse. I'm just gonna lay them on here so I can kind of get a sense of how I want to do this. And then the phrase uh, you are my true north. I'm going to use that because I actually really like it. Oh, I'm glad to hear. Yay. Yeah, the kits are really fun. Even the paper pumpkin ones too are actually a lot of fun. Which I find the kits are such a great way for, as an introduction to this type of art and style where it it's got everything needed in it. It's got the stamps, the ink, it's got the, all the materials kind of sort of pre-cut, so it's kind of good. All right, so I know it's gonna be reverse, but at least I have an idea where I'm positioning. And then I definitely want a sailboat because I, I have a thing for boats apparently. So I'm gonna grab the bigger sailboat. Ooh. As I carefully rip these out. And then just look at what else is in these stamps. Oh, there's birds apparently. Let's get the birds. I'm not sure we're gonna put them yet. I'll just kind of work around it here. So my picturist, my picture stamps here. Hmm. Of course, now I'm questioning to change this up completely. <laughs> Oh my. All right. I'm feeling it's too much white space. That's the problem. So I think I'm going to try to bring in something. I'm just looking at anything else I can use from these stamps. Uh, I'm going to pull out the small sailboat. Let's see what that looks like on here. Another option is I can try different orientation for the card. Let's see that for a moment. That might change it up a little better. Eh, not really. This is what happens when I try to do a video of no vision. <laughs> now I'm feeling this again. Ooh. I definitely like these so far. Uh. Just thinking for a quick moment. All right, I'm gonna try a different idea. I'm going to go a completely different direction. I like what I have happening here. It's just, I wanna try something else. So I'm gonna need a bunch more white paper, which I have here somewhere buried on my desk. Typical me on a morning. All right. And I'm trying something else. All right, I'm just going to stamp these out separately. I'm going to cut them up into shapes 
more square-ish, not square, rectangular shapes and go from there. Totally different plan. All right, so let's start with the lighthouse. So because the first time I'm using these, I need to put this label onto that. So first it helps to know which one it is. So there is that one. And then on here, these are split into two to get the white caps off. To peel back the label. This is for the first time using the red cling stamps. Uh, takes a little bit of mucking around to make sure that picture is still there. And then take this, flip it over, line it up hopefully perfectly, or as perfect as possible. Give it some nice pressure. I'm gonna let that sit for a moment as I prep the other ones while I'm thinking about it. Actually pull that back. Carefully, of course, because that is a sticker that I do need. They did not line it up very well, but that's okay. Now let's get the other sailboat. Which I might not need the other one, but I still want to prep it. Ooh, I'm almost peeling the whole thing off. Okay. I'm getting there. My dog's probably like, Mommy, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, see, this is where I'm accidentally peeling the whole thing off, which is not the intention right now. Not yet. All right, stick that on. Eh, it's close. I'm a little off today. My aim's a little off. Then there's the birds. I can't, I'm almost pulling the whole thing out. Oh my. Helps to have nails. That is helpful with some of this. Alright, just want to get the cap off without removing the sticker. And then again, try to line it up. And lastly is the phrase. I want to use the You Are My One True North, I think it's called. Which is right here. There. Okay. So I've got my stamps kind of ready. It's going to give it some pressure because that way those stickers, the label stickers will stick hopefully pretty decent. And then next I'm going to take my block, which has occurred to me. My block is a little too small, but I'll still work with it. Uh, Stampin' Up! does sell a bunch of larger sizes. I just haven't got around to investing in that yet. So this comes off pretty easily. So now that label, which was here, is now on the stamp. So that way, when I put it onto the block, I'm going to go kind of crooked here. Hopefully this will kind of work. Give it some pressure. So that way, when I go stamping, I can actually see where's the image. I'm just, they don't need these so much, but I'm still going to give it a quick seasoning. And I'm, gonna, I'm just using basic gray ink because I just, I'm in a gray mood today. Give it some generous ink, especially with the first time. So I think that's got a bunch of ink on there. And then I'm just going to, just somewhere on here, some plenty of space around it. Hopefully I don't muck it up. There is our lighthouse. That's really cool. And then I have up here a sponge that's been pre-wet ahead of time to clean the stamps. Uh, if you don't have that, any sort of sponge will do, or just a cloth. Like a, I know some people use um, the the wet cloth kind of thing, just something to clean it off. That way, the ink doesn't get too into the stamp. Although some of the photopolymers do get very discolored, but it happens. So what I've done is I've now put this on the back of the case for storage. 
All right, so next I'm going to do the rest of these stamps. Then I'm gonna to try to cut them up and see if I can assemble them. So there's my sailboat. And I forgot to season it, but that's okay. And actually my very first paper pumpkin kit was in connection to this suite back in 2019. Uh, it was, I forget the name of the kit, it's lost in my head, but it had like a sailboat and it had like a nautical theme and I loved it. So next I'm going to grab the little sailboat. So this stamp set, and I believe the dies I have somewhere, was on my wish list for a long time before they were finally gone from last year's catalog I think. That wasn't as good as a stamp, but that's okay. And actually, for example, for current, I was going to pull it out now. There is a really neat sailboat punch here. That is really cool for a newer product. Um, I have two cards laid out actually for those uh, for my for Father's Day that I made already. I'll grab one in a moment once I'm kind of done stamping. So now I'm in that groove of stamping. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of these. I just want to get these out on paper so I can kind of figure out my plan. Thanks. Yeah, these are pretty cool. Birds was easy. And then the phrase is the last one. And I'm just watching my tongue because I do have to go to work. <laughs> I'm not even dressed yet. like oops and that's the thing with crafting it's like once I get into that mood it's like forget that oh yeah there's things to be done there's work there's other things there's a dog staring at me actually he's asleep right now he's down for a nap my little senior dog okay so there's my stamps I've used and then I'm just gonna put all this back in for future All right, and then I'm gonna grab a paper trimmer. But just before all of that, I'm going to show you one of my Father's Day cards, which is this, which is pretty cool. Cute, so that's using the uh, hole, uh, the sailboat hole punch, and I just kinda did a thing around it, which is adorable. All right, so here's my, stamping up paper trimmer it'll do 12 inches downward which is nice and useful so i'm just going to cut these up hopefully without destroying anything actually let me take it from here and this kind of locks in place quite nicely and yes, this is available on Stampin' Up! website, uh, this paper trimmer. It's actually pretty reasonable, which is really, really useful. And it also has a scoring um, blade as well. Oh, thanks. All right. So I just want to get these cut into shapes because I have a bit of a vision in my head on how I want to build this card. A little different than where I want to be today, but that's okay. So I'm just getting these down to individual shapes and I'm going to trim them a little more. Okay. So the hardest one to trim is the, this one, which I don't think it's straight, but that's okay. <laughs> All right. Let me see if I can kind of, Line it up. Might not be very straight, but that's okay today. I'm just eyeballing it. Alright, so there's a label ready. 
and the birds. I'm just going to bring them in. It also would help if I measure what I'm doing, which will make things a lot easier. But with the way I am today, I like to kind of freestyle it. It's kind of my style. Okay, so there's the birds. All right, now for the sailboat. Bring this down a little so you can actually see what I'm doing. And this paper is just regular white cardstock. I, I buy this a whole whack of it off of Amazon. Stampin' Up! does have really nice white cardstock. Uh, I tend to keep those put away. Okay, so there's that to start. I may trim it a little more, but I don't know. Depends on how this is going. Bring this a little smaller. But as you can see with Paper Pumpkin and the Kits collection, <laughs> it takes a lot of this work out of the process <laughs> of the prep. <laughs> I love this lighthouse stamp. That is really nice. Actually, on the weekend, we went down to the lake. Lake Ontario. Uh, down in... Burlington and Oakville area. Which is quite nice. Alright, so then what I have here is... I've got some... Now, this is from a different paper pack. This is not Stampin' Up! I've got some nautical pieces happening because I was using these a while back for something else. Um, I'm leaning towards that one. I'm also going to pull out... I have a scrap piece here. Uh, I just want to see for sizing. Can I use the scrap one? Yes, I can. There we go. Alright, so put these off to the side. So what I want to do is I want to put this on here. Oh my! I tend to serve a white card base. I want to put this on here, but I gotta trim it down a little more. So this size is five and a half by four and a quarter. So what I want to do is five and a quarter. Go a little smaller, and then four inches that way. I'll have a bit of a white border happening. That's kind of, I, I just like to have a bit of a border. So that's where the vision on that is. And then, cause I just felt if I just did stamping on the white paper alone with no other color, it looked a little too plain for me today. So I'm just gonna lay these out and see how I like it, if I need to make any adjustments, or like I might not even need half these pieces, but that's where I don't know until I just kind of lay it out. And so far, it's still looking pretty plain, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just thinking here how I can spruce it up. And I'm thinking of trimming these three a little smaller, actually. Thanks for watching, but all good. <laughs> There's always a replay. All right, I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna take these a little smaller. So back to the trimming again. Or I'll keep that as is for now. All right, let's bring this a little, little smaller. Q. 
yeah, I watch my time too. <laughs> oh, my boss isn't gonna like it if I'm late for work today. But at least I stopped yawning when I finally got creative here. <laughs> All right, another cut. All right, so I've got that a little smaller. I'm happier with that. Uh, I'm still gonna cut both sailboats down a little more. I'm still not sure if I'm going to use both of them or one of them. But as you can tell, I totally had no real plan starting this video. So here we are. Okay, so we got that, we got that, we got that. Uh, all right. Yeah, let's trim this one down too, in case I do use it. Okay, so we got some pieces nicely trimmed down, which is a lot better. Now that, that way I can come back to this and see how do I like it. Oh, that's much better. I'm still not liking it. I'm still not feeling it. However, I like that. I find that is too big. Uh, I'm getting an idea though. All right, getting an idea. I'm going to freehand cut this, which might be disastrous, but that's okay. So that's freehand cut, which isn't really recommended, but it kind of works. I'm going to need a paper trimmer again, which seems to be getting a lot of good use today. All right, because I need this piece. I'm going to go half an inch. And I hope that works. That way I can stick that on there to my heart's content. Come back to the paper trimmer in a moment. So I'm gonna get some adhesive somewhere over here. Then grab some glue dots. Pokey stick. And just stick it on that little white tag that's happening. I 
All right, I've got that. I'm just going to move the white caps off. I'm going to stick this on, hopefully even. It's a little crooked, but I can work. I'll just work with it. It's okay. All right, and then from here, I'm just going to snip off there. So there's that done portion. Let's bring this back in again. Let's see how this looks as I'm still trying to kind of sort of play around here. But what I like is this. And I'm just, I'm going to go with it. I like it. It's a bit plain, but I like it. So I'm just going to get these glued down. So let's get some stamp and seal happening. This is the stamp and seal plus actually, which is super useful. So I'm just going over all the, kind of sort of all over the edges and hope it sticks well. This is by Stampin' Up, which is cool. All right. And I'm just gonna lay that on there. So there is our starting card base. And then we're gonna take Mr. Sailboat. Oh, not Sailboat, Lighthouse, duh. Oh my. And I gotta go to work today. <laughs> All right, we're going to go there. And then I'm just trying to figure out positioning. Yeah, kind of like that. Let's see if I can remember where all this is going. Kind of like that. And then this. And then. Like that. Which is look, looking pretty cool. Not bad for a winging it Father's Day card. Which, even so, this could be used for any sort of occasion. It doesn't have to be Father's Day. And then for the phrase, I'm going to use some dimensionals. Just to kind of pop it up a little. Just putting some of this stuff away. Alright, so we're almost finally done. <laughs> Oh, typical me. All right, so here is our tag. And there we go. So there is a bit of a basic, kind of sort of Father's Day, and it could be done for any sort of occasion. So there we go. So, and then I'm going to finalize it with the stamping on the back with the color of the kitty and all that. I'm going to do that now before I totally forget because that happens to me. I'll do a bunch of these. I forget to do the back and then I'll put them away and then I go to use them for something and I'm like, oh wait, I'm not done. So I'm just going to finish this up and then I got to go to work, my friends. Alright, there's the cat. Meow. Uh, I'm just going to move some of this around. Ooh. Bear with me a moment. I'm just going to clean up the desk a little tiny bit. Alright. 
So then the angel policy and all. Oops, that was a little loud. Wakey, wakey. Ooh. All right, so created by. And then lastly is the Stampin' Up! name. And there we go. So there's a project. Uh, not my best. I've done better. But it was a good start for, hey, first time I opened up a stamp set and just... Really what it is, is just get into it and play and see what I can come up with. So that was the inspiration for today. And yeah, so there we go. I hope you, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I know this video took a heck of a lot longer than I intended. <laughs> That's what happens when I try to freeform it on the go. What I would have done differently with this is I would add a little more color. Um, I would have put a border piece of color behind each of these it's just due to time and i realized i'm running out of time here i just wanted to speed it through a little better but this is still pretty cool so if you have any questions about stampin up paper pumpkin but what i do here even about my artist name color the kitty uh give me a shout i'm here to help you out and yeah so thank you thank you i hope you have a good thursday as i definitely have to get my butt dressed and go to work very shortly because I leave in like 20 minutes. <laughs> Alrighty. So take care, everybody. Uh, we'll see you next week. And I'll be posting this video later tonight over to the YouTube because I think this is a lot of fun. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.